Okay, well, uh, thank you for introducing me. Uh, yeah, let's start my talk, uh, comparison of the packaging tools in 2023. Okay. Yes, uh, I have the uploaded slides and the, yeah, pre, uh, please if, uh, scan your, this QR code uh, and the open browsers, yeah. And uh, free, feel free to pick, take pictures and uh, tweet, tweet with me, okay? Okay, first of all, uh, I will explain uh, why I made this talk, and uh, what is a first target uh, of audience. Yeah. Okay, at first, uh, my, my motivation is that here, uh, there are so many packaging tools in Python today. Uh, yeah, yeah, so some, uh, some objectives and design differences is, um, so, if are you not are not professional for the Python packaging, so it may be the very hard to the choose the which, which is best one packaging this. So the, over the and um, over the few years, uh, and these tools has uh, changed uh, dramatically uh, because of the adapted the uh, yeah these pip, pips. Adapted uh, uh, implementation uh, increased, so there. Yeah, uh, I I will introduce uh, three big peps. Uh, yeah, first uh, pep uh, five hundred seventeen. Uh, it's a build system specification format. Yeah, second one is uh, pep six hundred twenty one. Uh, standardized uh, pipe project .toml format. And yeah, finally, third one is uh, 660 uh, pipe project toml based uh, editable install, yeah, pip install e dot. Okay, so the, I felt the, yeah, I often s and s um, ask, uh, ask questions, have a questions, uh, which packaging tool uh, should I use? Yeah, hi, uh, sometimes we are asked uh, the, in the Py Python community or the outside of the Python communities. So the efforts uh, needed uh, pros, cons, uh, best comparison in now. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> sorry, pr please note that the all opinions are in my own since uh, I am not the developer of the, this pack any packaging tools, okay? Okay, uh, I will compare these tools uh, for the three types of the Python instance. Yeah, first, uh, first uh, library and framework uh, open source developers. Yeah, it's a, maybe it's a complex uh, project directory structures. And yeah, second one is uh, application developer with uh, many people projects, uh, yeah, so as uh, you work at, at a company, and uh, yeah, with the uh, differences of the Python packaging skills. So, the, and then finally, is a one shot uh, scripting developer for like a small project, uh, such as automation or networking, okay? Okay, yeah, this is the table of contents today. Yeah, first, uh, yeah, I introduced a list of the tools, and um, yeah, second, yeah, self-introduction, yeah. Uh, then, yeah, main topic is uh, two uh, pros, cons for each tool. Uh, I will uh, explain Cross cons based uh, to uh, descriptions, and then yeah, finally, uh, what is the uh, best tool for the these three Pythonistas? Yeah, and then yeah, if you might be uh, interesting, yeah, I will introduce right right packaging uh, as an appendix. Okay. Yeah, there are. Uh, 
the tools uh, I will compare today. There are six tools, PPM, Poetry, PDM, PIP tools, Hatch, and PIP. Okay. Yeah. There are more few tools um, not, I, I do not mention today, but uh, I think uh, I have uh, covered of the major and the most well-known useful ones. Okay. Yeah, let me introduce myself briefly. Yeah. I'm Yoichi Takai, but uh, as known as uh, Peacock, so <laughs> please me call me Peacock. Okay. And uh, since uh, I'm a developer, uh, December 2022, uh, I have been uh, working at uh, Topgate uh, as a uh, IAC in infrastructure as a code and the develop DevOps engineer. Uh, for my working, yeah, I have been volunteer of uh, volunteer staff of the PyCon JPs yeah, since 2022, uh, 2020. Uh, and the vice chair since last year, yeah, 2022. Okay, uh, yeah, in addition, uh, I'm a director of the PyCon JPTV uh, as a YouTube live uh, for director. Uh, it uh, held a once a month uh, introducing other PyCons uh, or local events. Okay, and my, then my hobbies are listening music, Classical music, uh, mirrorless cameras, uh, skiing, uh, eating and drinking. Yeah, I like beer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, before starting my comparing tools, uh, I'd like to explain the, why the PEP6, what is a PEP621 PEP style pipe project tomb? Yeah, it's, I think, uh, it's a bit more, my most important peps for for this talk. Okay. Yeah, this format is a pep six hundred twenty one style pipe electro tomorrow. Yeah, and it's a new standard and defining uh, Python packaging metadata and uh, build system dependencies. Uh, yeah, there are three three points for defining uh, dependencies. Yeah, first, first um, the build system table. Yeah, highlighted there. Yeah, well, number uh, line number one and two. Yeah, it's a build system backend. Uh, it's uh, because uh, setup tools and where. You. Next, uh, dependencies property in your uh, Project table is uh, defining uh, dependencies, yeah, such as yeah, SQL Kimi and Fast API. And lastly, uh, pipe project dot optional dependencies, yeah, to table to the defining optional dependencies as yeah, such as uh, develops uh, only, yeah, black frequent and MyPy. Yeah. But uh, please do not think uh, that the requirement stick is, is dead. Yeah, since uh, I, I, yeah, I introduced PyProject.tomo only, but uh, requirement stick is dot net, dot not dead, okay? <laughs> okay, next, uh, okay, uh, now let's start uh, comparing main section. Yeah, uh, I will introduce yeah pros cons yeah for each tools. Okay, yeah the first is that PPM. Yeah, it was very famous for the 2018. Uh, also, uh, its popularity seems to uh, have been settled down. Yeah, it's still maintained. It. Who doesn't know this uh, PPM? Anyone knows? Okay. Uh, it uh, yeah, it was a game changer for the Python packaging. Yeah, but uh, I will not explain your detail a lot uh, because uh, I don't recommend it. This <laughs> okay? Yeah, it has a very progressive tool. Yeah, since twenty uh, when twenty eighteen. Yeah, 
appeared. Um, but it forced me the log files and the upgrading, uh, adding commands, uh, wrapping virtual ems. But the limited support for the PEP 621 style, yeah, IP formations so style pipe project the tomer. But uh, and the, it, I think the, it's a no longer a good idea for the PPM for new projects. Okay. And then maybe through dependency resolver, but uh, I heard that that uh, improved. Uh, if you know uh, this this uh, resolver information, please uh, please tell me uh, after this talk. Okay. Next is poetry. Yeah. I remember it becoming a famous 2020, maybe, uh, but I think it's a still a popular tool. Yeah. How many people uh, you use uh, poetry? Uh -huh. uh, half of them, okay. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. yeah, if you use this, okay. Uh, or the so, yeah, so many people. Yeah, I think yeah, most popular, most popular tool, but uh, I will not recommend it. Also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reason is yeah, poetry has uh, many features, but uh, okay, first uh, I will pros explain pros. Yeah. Dependency management with log file yeah, supported also. Uh, needless to say, uh, it was uh, later than PPM, so the, it's a uh, standard yeah, included. And uh, as you many saw, the point of the poetry was uh, revolutionary. Yeah, it included uh, the task runner, yeah, such as poetry run, and the uh, helper for the building hoist. And uh, one thing the concept, it does not support it, yeah, Pi Project Tomer, yeah, PEP 621 style. So the, it's uh, incompatible for the other packaging tools. So it's a uh, migration is uh, very difficult. Okay. Okay. And the third one is the PDM. Yes, uh, I did not, I did, I, I have not this tool uh, since made uh, this slide, uh, this slide and proposal. But uh, it seems seems to be very useful tools. Uh, how many people do you know PDM? Only one? <laughs> okay. I will explain, yeah. It has a, means three, two or three advantages. The first one is uh, first dependency resolver. It's the latest uh, the tools I will introduce. Today. Yeah, I think, uh, but, but the, you can choose uh, another back end to the dependency resolver. Next point. Yeah, it supports the PEP 621 style Pi project Tomer. Yeah, so because sure uh, the most uh, last previous tools, PPM and Poetry, is were not supported and uh, limited supported. So, but yeah, PDM supports uh, already supported, so it's a big advantage. Yeah, so it's format the standard. Like PIP, uh, you may transfer the tools easily. Uh, and then, similar to the poetry, uh, includes the task runner with PDM run and uh, included package publisher. And I think one drawback, one drawback, uh, it's a, uh, as you know, uh, few GitHub stars, yeah, not, not famous maybe. Okay, the, so the, there are few knowledge and the know-hows. 
to enough to use. Okay, fourth is the PIP tools. Uh, please note that the following tools are PIP tools and Hatch and PIP. We are not all included tools, or not all in one tools, but the only tools are limited function, limited features. Okay. Yeah, PIP tools is very simple. Only two commands, pip compile and pip sync. Uh, it and uh, also supported uh, pip 621 style tomer. And uh, one more advantage uh, is that uh, maintained by just one community. Uh, so may the, it's maintained in uh, Django utilities by the just one community. So I think uh, governance is the uh, community is very important. So the, it's uh, not the single author project, not uh, maintained by community. So, but uh, needless to say, uh, it does not include task runner, holy beta, and package publisher. So I, I will recommend it, use it hatch, hatch with next one, okay? The fifth is Hatch. The I will just to uh, introduce other than PIP. Uh, it was published uh, very recently and maybe interested uh, many folks. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, very comparable uh, and uh, to the backend building project. Uh, you can use the it as a as a tools like a PIP tools. Yeah, and the, it's a maintained activity, uh, PyPA, yeah, Py, Python Packaging Authority. I think, yeah, nearly official. Uh, because it's a newcomer, yeah, of course, it works with a Py project total spec and the PEP 621 style. But uh, I think, yeah, configurable equal to the complex. You will need, need uh, read and main, understand the document and the set of tools or hatch, yeah, this one. And then also, it does not, uh, maybe the, oh, okay, uh, does not include it, uh, maybe package dependencies updater and the log file. So the, please use uh, this with the uh, pip tools. Okay, the last one is a PIF. Now it's a, yeah, it may be not needed to explain details, <laughs> yeah, but I will do this uh, briefly. Okay, goes without saying, uh, I don't know Python is uh, who hasn't used this, yeah. Since, uh, yeah, ancient PIF modules are built in Python, so, you can use Pipping as a built-in tool. Yeah, since uh, it's maintained by PyPA and uh, PyProject Tomlin spec, and uh, please note that uh, Pip is uh, not packaging tool, just a package installer wraps, uh, set of tools. Yeah. I'm sure and uh, all know the uh, cons too, uh, it does, does not uh, include it, uh, batch RM wrapper and uh, not supported uh, file managed dependency and task runner, hoi builder. Okay. Yeah, now finally, uh, what you'll be waiting for? Yeah, I will introduce the, the best tools for the three types of the Python instance use cases. Okay. Yeah, first, uh, if you are a library developer, I will recommend it Hatch. Yeah. I recommend it uh, the use uh, with the PIP tools managing dependencies. And uh, you should, but you should be understand PIP tools, uh, PIP uh, backend to what, uh, what you choose and, and tools and uh, documentation and specification. 
Yeah, so it's maintained by actively PyPL. Uh, so I think a uh, good idea to it uh, work uh, as a project. And surely uh, it works a uh, PyProject from specs with a uh, yeah, new standard format styles. Okay, the next one, yeah, it's uh, maybe the production as a working, uh, the application developing. Yeah, I think uh, it's needed, uh, I recommended PDM, so the, uh, many people doesn't know PDM, but or, yeah, only one, <laughs> only you, and uh, I, I recommended PDM. I think uh, it's needed to, everything is included and easy to use. Uh, it will be especially valuable if you are developing large project or the, with many Python installs and the different skills, many people. So the, it's easy to use. The yeah, reasons, um, yeah, you can use it a uh, pipe project to spec. And uh, it has a task runner for the testing, and uh, like the not npm projects, yeah, npm scripts, yeah, and uh, maybe the, there are a few knowledges and know hows, yeah, but I think uh, it's a worth to try, worth to try, yeah, you should try it. Okay, <laughs> the last is uh, just uh, use a pip. Pip only uh, <laughs> for yeah lightweight project. Yeah, the first way is that suitable for the large project or the complex directory structures. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this this case is uh, not needed for the complex project. Yeah, so the, I think that it's a better to small project. Yeah, lightweight and yeah, non dependency to install itself. Yeah, if not to the rate to the P switch to PDM, yeah, so when you feel it uh, is uh, becoming too complex, when, I, when you feel, uh, so when you feel the complex, too complex to the managing with PIP, so to not, to not rate, okay. Okay, conclusion, and um, it's a sum summary, uh, to well, best for you. Yeah, library developer for Hatch, uh, uh, application developer for PDM, and scripting developer is PIP. Okay. Okay, main section is uh, over there, and the uh, appendix, okay? Yeah, it's uh, engaged uh, last half year, yeah, I think uh, summary of my opinion. So it's a little uh, army roger and known as a flask, uh, the Mitsuhiko, uh, who is famous for a flask, Jinja to click, and uh, more. Okay. Yeah. Process here. Uh, yeah, single binary and yeah, easy to install and use. Uh, and works with a uh, PyProject Tomer and uh, Almost what you want is included. Uh, virtual developer, package publisher, builder, and uh, included also Python version manager, and Python, uh, which Python uh, versions uh, to use. Switching uh, Python 3.11 or 3.12 or the 3.9 or 3.10. Okay? Yeah, concept there, yeah, <laughs> need to say experimental. Not stable to hand it to user, yeah. And uh, his personal project, and uh, just uh, I think, yeah, uh, considering uh, just wrap over pipsus for the dependency manager. For maybe the if you if you know the details for the this issue, this uh, topics for the please uh, discuss the, about the, this is the. There, okay. Yeah, this is notes for differencing. Okay. 
Yeah, thank you for yeah, listening so much. Uh, that's all for my talk. Yeah, and finally, yeah, I'd like to say thank you for the, for the PyCon APAC participants and the speakers, uh, volunteer staffs, and your, part, your listeners. Yeah, I hope the, that have you a great time for the, for the PyCon APAC 2023. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So we're just gonna come and steal the microphone from you to do the Q&A. Mm -hmm. Questions? Questions, lots of them. Oh. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your comparison about these packaging systems. So if I understand correctly, so I think your recommendations came from the current features of each systems rather than kind of the long-term vision because I couldn't know which project are still active or maybe one project could be dying, right? So in terms of the long-term, is there any recommendation or your recommendation is still same as... <laughs> The, for example, like a PDM is, a, yeah. maybe this is not famous. I don't know if yeah. the project is still yeah. active or dying, yeah. but yeah, like what do you think about the long-term vision? Uh, uh, it's a, uh, uh, maybe it's a difficult question. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, PDM support is uh, PEP 621 style. And for the convertible for the other tools, yeah, you can transfer easily from the PDM to other tools, okay? Right. Any more questions? I know we had some. So. Uh, hello? Thank you for your comparisons. That was insightful. Uh, I was just wondering, because you only had one negative for poetry, which was uh, the support for the 621 yeah. Pi Project Tamil um, style. If they added that, would your recommendations have changed? And if so, uh, how? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so poetry not supported. Uh, but still, maybe the discussion is uh, ongoing uh, work in progress for the not, uh, not needed to the transfer like the PDM. So the, yeah, so I, uh, I will wait, uh, I, I wait for the support uh, PEP 621 style, okay. Sure, but if, if they have that, yeah. would you then use poetry instead of patch or PDM? Uh, yeah, poetry is uh, not uh, official, yeah, just a third party. Yeah, so the, if you use a library uh, scripting, uh, library uh, framework, yeah, so long term maintained, maintained to the, I, I will recommend it, patch. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, more questions? I know we, we've still got time, so and I know there were a few other hands. Anyone else? Like the front. Hi there. Thank you very much for your talk. Thank you. <laughs> um, so if you have something like Docker, maybe I'm missing something, but in a Docker container, if you're pip installing your requirements in, if you were to change from using pip to something like PDM, what oh, would yeah. you actually gain? Our uh, requirements dot any. So it, uh, hmm. uh, the maybe the it maybe the works with the uh, without the requirement yeah, dependencies property for the for the here here 
here for the compatible for the requirement tickets, it's a uh, or the you if you use uh, requirements dot any or requirements dot tickets, uh, yeah, it's a uh, maybe the opt word here. It may be works. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Just to add, if you don't mind. The, the other thing is that the lock, there's no lock file support <laughs> doing it that way, so yeah. reproducible builds become more problematic, but otherwise, yeah. Um, any more questions? Yes. Okay. And then one more at the back. I think we may only have one. We'll yeah. see how we go. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it could be a pretty naive question because I'm the old guy who prefer setup tools and PIP for maintaining the library, but, <laughs> but um, in some use case, you have to maintain a library based on the vendor library that have a modified version that, uh, that if I don't want to yeah. unload the vendor library to the yeah. PIP package, then in that case, what do you recommend to maintain this kind of library? Uh, so there, uh, just the uh, PIP tools, uh, uh, PIP with Set, set up tools, yeah, cannot uh, upgrade uh, easily for the non-file managed dependency. Yeah, so the, I would recommend it with uh, use the uh, pip tools with uh, pip sync and pip compile for the, yeah, it uh, can be used the uh, file managed dependency. So the, yeah. Uh, so you recommend Hatch? Yeah, recommended Hatch or as a Hatch with a pip tools. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's uh, all we've got time for. Can we have a big round of applause for, for Peacock? Thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh, if you've got any more questions, uh, you can hopefully catch him in the corridor quickly, but please, um, we ask for call operation to not come up to the front of the stage uh, as we've got to prepare for the next speaker. Um, our sponsors, I think they're still running the rally for the towel, so please go visit them and collect stamps and collect your Python APEC towel. Um, and just a reminder that the party registration is open, so if you haven't collected your wristband and you do have a ticket for tonight's party, please visit the registration desk and collect your wristband before 5.40 p.m. Thank you. Thank you.